So guys, I just want to let you guys know for other fellow content creators, I just want to say, keep going. You're doing a great thing. Building a brand, learning how to market yourself is a wonderful skill set. I just want to let you guys see a quick clip of a behind the scenes fail here of me trying to set up and shoot this very video and everything completely falls to the wayside, literally. Like everything just fell off the table and everything and my wife, wife and I are just cracking up about it. So I hope you guys enjoy and get a good laugh out of this. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? This is Kaz and welcome to the Kingdom Perfumes Experience. It is amazing to have you guys here on my channel again. If you're new here, welcome. We talk about all things fragrances here. I'm a rising self-studying independent perfumer. So sometimes we'll talk about perfumery. We'll talk about the materials. We'll talk about eat some IG lives that we're doing. We'll talk about giveaways, the whole gamut. So we're just here to have fun and enjoy this channel. Also, I'm a man of faith. I love Jesus and I start every video with a quick and simple prayer. For those of you returning, hey, good to see you guys again. Welcome back. So guys, today is going to be the sixth round of the White Floor Frenzy. I know I've been gone for a little bit. I've been recovering from COVID and I still have a bit of a cough. So I'll try to do my best to speak a little uh, more gradually and uh, intentionally so that I don't get interrupted by coughs here. So before I begin, let's go ahead and roll these credits and get on with the white floor frenzy. Thanks so much for you guys' patience. <laughs> Welcome back. So, as I said before in the beginning, I usually like to start off every single video with a quick and simple prayer. For those of you who would like to skip the prayer, no pressure at all, there will be a link in the description below. But for those of you staying with me, let's go ahead and start. Heavenly Father, I thank you for my viewers. I thank you for their lives. I thank you for this channel. Lord, I just wanna pray a prayer of healing. Anyone dealing with COVID right now, anyone that may be ill, folks that may be recovering from whatever it is in their lives. I just pray a prayer of healing and peace over all your children in Jesus name. Amen. All right, guys. So this is round six of the white floor frenzy. So we're going to be battling Ormond James Osmanthus with a Maj honor woman. This is an amazing matchup. All right. I've done some votes. You guys have voted, and it's actually pretty close. I would have expected more of a landslide, but I was really shocked. I was really surprised in this matchup, so I can't wait to see who's going to be the winner. We're going to go to our bracket, but before we do, let's kind of get reacquainted with these fragrances again. So I'll start with Amouage. Now, that is a 2011 release, and it's Amouage Honor. I do have a full bottle, so I'll grab it for you guys. So here's the full bottle of Honor Woman by Amouage. They have released a new one as part of their x uh, rated Perfume collection, and it's one of four of the new x -Trade. So there's an Honor, uh, I don't remember the number, maybe 53 or something like that. It has a number, um, but this is the original. Okay, amazing bottle. Great presentation all the way around. You got white on gold. I personally am a fan, and I'm looking forward to getting the male version uh, for honor woman but this is great i think it's unisex men if you love white florals this is a white floral powerhouse you're going to get a lot of gardenia tuberose some jasmine it has a bit of a spicy pop um, in the top with some rhubarb some pepper some coriander i believe but it's just amazing uh magnetic cat you know signature homage finish 
is luxury all the way around. I'm gonna spray some on the strip. We'll talk about this. We'll go to Osmanthus and then we'll hit our brackets and then we'll call it a day. So let me go ahead and put this on strip for you guys. All right, so we got it on strip now and right now it is such a pleasure to get reacquainted with this fragrance. I'm telling you guys, it is amazing. I know it's marketed towards women, but Honor is just a wonderful profile. What it does with white florals, it just makes them so palatable to the average person. I mean, oh man, it's luscious, it's creamy, it's uh, pleasant, it's not offensive. Okay, and the spice in the top is ever so slight, just ever so slight, but what you're really gonna get is that white floral heart, okay? That white floral heart is just to die for. Again, Gardenia, uh, Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, Tuberose are some of the main notes that you're gonna get in this fragrance. And there's even some carnation in there, and I think there's also some carnation in, uh, what's it called? Declaration by Cartier. That's a Jean-Claude Elena fragrance as well. Carnation, I don't see it often, but you know, it does add a nice floral, spicy kind of nature to things. But this is good, it holds its own in the base. You're gonna have some nice uh, soft resin, some amber, you know, uh, leather, some vetiver, some incense. All things just to kind of round out the florals to give a little smokiness to it and a little resinous sweetness to it. A great, great fragrance. Let's go on to Ormond Jane's Osmanthus next. All right, so for Ormond Jane's Osmanthus fragrance, this is actually a 2006 release. So five years prior to the Amouage, I only have a sample. Shout out to Lucky Scent. You can find lots of samples on Lucky Scent. You can find uh, full, full bottle fragrances. So it's a good place to go if you wanna get some samples too. I just have a little sample here. So Osmanthus is a really powerful type of white floral. I believe it's Chinese in, in origin, um, Osmanthus. And it is a very unique note to me. It smells like almost like a floral type of olive, but that's just my nose. And it's a really nice floral, it holds its own. Let's get reacquainted with it by uh, putting this on strip. All right, now we have it on strip. And right away, it has this really nice freshness that it opens up with. And I like that about this fragrance because it just, it kind of cools you down for the summer, right? When I smell bergamot and uh, other citruses, I just feel cooler and it has this really nice, fresh, spicy, cooling nature to the front, which kind of makes me think this is more summer freshy friendly, right? Uh, Honor by Amouage is really nice for pretty much any occasion, but this is really nice, really fresh. You're gonna get some pomelo, some artemisia, mm, some pimento, just a little bit of spice in the top just to kick it off. Then you're gonna get that really nice osmanthus, some jasmine sambat, some watered lily in the heart just to give it that nice, uh, fresh, almost slight, slightly aquatic nature, uh, white floral-esque vibe to this. The osmanthus is just really kicking. It's the powerhouse, it's the dominant note here. Then you're gonna finish off with some vetiver, some cedar, you know, your musks, a little bit of labdanum to kind of lift with uh, some sweetness there, some resin sweetness. Yeah, Ormond Janus Mantha is also a really nice pick, a really nice niche fragrance too. So without further ado, let's go ahead to jump over to the brackets and see what you voted for, and then we'll call it a day. Let's get to the brackets. All right guys, welcome to the bracket. As you know, this is round six of the White Floor Frenzy. We got our contestants here, Amouage Honor Woman versus Ormond Janus Osmanthus. Like I mentioned before, this was a very interesting matchup. Let's see what you guys voted for. I'm gonna go ahead and click in here. Again, we are 55% of the way done with the white floral frenzy. And as always, let's get a drum roll. And the winner of this round of the white floral frenzy is none other than Honor Woman by Amouage with a close five votes to only four for Ormond James as Mantis. That's right, five to four. This is a very close match. Honestly, I was hoping for even more votes than this, but 
This is great. We have a winner. Um, Honor Woman by Awaj is moving on, and it's been a strong pick. I'm really curious to see uh, if it makes it all the way through. So let's go ahead and submit. And there you have it, folks. Amwaj Honor Woman is waiting for a contestant. Now, if you guys remember, Nishane's 100 Silent Ways is waiting for the uh, for the semifinals to see who is going to be the ultimate white floral. So we have Amwaj Honor Woman. We got Chloe. Uh, Chloe that unfortunately lost out here. And then we have Honor Woman that is waiting for a winner between K. Ali and uh, Imaginary Authors. So, without further ado, let's get back to the video. Welcome back. So as you've seen, it's been neck and neck. I, again, I thought that this was gonna be a landslide victory, but it was not actually. Four of you voted for Osmanthus, and only and five of you voted for Amwaj's Honor Woman. This is a really fun matchup. I love honor. I love when my wife wears it. Sometimes I'll take a crack at it to myself. And Ormond James's man, this is pretty interesting. I'm considering getting a full bottle. Uh, not quite sure yet, but you guys voted and homage honor woman is the winner to advance to the next round. Well, that's all I have for you guys here today. Thanks so much for tuning in to the White Floral Frenzy round six. And I'll see you guys in round seven. Before you go, please like, comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys think about this video and other videos like this let me know what you liked about it what you enjoyed until next time thanks so much and have a great week guys take care peace